Good evening. Ten schools on Teesside are taking part in a project to counter terrorism, racism and radicalisation. It's the first of its kind in the UK. The project is the brainchild of Amjad Kazir. He's a Muslim who was born in Middlesbrough. His work is being sponsored by the Cleveland Police and Crime Commissioner. It's been backed by the man who led a review of the country's terrorism legislation, Lord Carlisle. He says it should be rolled out across the country. Chris Jepson reports. Mohamed Kaha from Sunderland was sentenced to five years in prison last month. He'd peddled online extremist propaganda for the so-called Islamic State, attempting to recruit people to fight for the group. Radicalization like this on our doorstep, that Cleveland Police and Crime Commissioner Barry Coppinger says needs to be dealt with. He's commissioned a Middlesbrough-based group to deliver community cohesion training to teachers in 10 Teesside schools. This is about uh, presenting positive images of, of the Muslim faith and of other activities, but also raising awareness of the dangers that could be out there and making sure that we are not only aware of what's happening, but, but prepared for the future. And it's all part of my aim to make the Cleveland area a safe and tolerant place to live. The class starts with a video that follows Imran, a British Muslim boxer from Teesside. It raises issues of racism, Islamophobia and extremism. Being a Muslim is all about being a part of the community. Controversial issues that are then openly debated by the students. So when there's people out there like ISIS, like the fascist groups who want to divide society, they pick on the differences that we have. Why were they looking at his beard? Because they, like, they thought he was someone else and like because of the background of his religion and because they were calling him bin laden from this session the pupils who come from different backgrounds generally shared the same values finding ways to tackle misinformation and misrepresentation are crucial to giving young people the confidence that they need as you say to overcome the ideology and the narrative of extremists so if they are in a vulnerable position ever in a situation where somebody's trying to tell them that we are so different and to dehumanise a person from a different belief system, I think after today's activity, they'll at the very least think twice. It stops them being radicalised, it also stops them from believing it's all one faith, it's all one religion, it's all one person that's, that's doing it. What it does is gives them that information, so it gives them information about what to do if they believe someone's trying to radicalise them. It also gives them information what to do if they believe someone's being radicalised and also about making their own minds about people from different faiths. This programme isn't just about working with the 10 Teesside schools, including this one in Hartlepool, but it's about working with the wider community, schools, universities, sports clubs, churches and mosques, all with that same intent of preventing our young people from being radicalised. And some experts say that this is exactly the kind of programme that needs to be rolled out across the UK. One of those is Lord Carlisle. He's the former independent reviewer of terrorism legislation and has seen Media Culture's workshop when he visited Middlesbrough recently. I think the whole country has a lot to learn about what has been pioneered uh, on Teesside. It inspired me because it had real original thinking behind it. I witnessed it being uh, used with young people and I saw that they were inspired by it too. I was probably more impressed by this project than by any other single project in the country and I have been talking about it ever since. If people continue to talk about it and the issues surrounding radicalisation, this programme could end up in more schools across the country. Chris Jepson, ITV News, Teesside. And Chris is with us now to explain a little more. Chris, why did the Cleveland Police and Crime Commission decide to go ahead with these plans? Well, it was because he really liked the way it was hands-on. In the past, these types of schemes that have come through Prevent uh, have involved information passed down to schools from the Home Office, which the teachers have had to then implement themselves. Now, the teachers aren't experts in these areas, whereas Amjid's uh, media cultured group, uh, they know about uh, what is going on in the Muslim community, uh, about integration, Islamophobia, racism and extremism. 
and uh, they're best placed to uh, talk about these things. And what their aim is, is to give the children uh, empowerment in order that they can then um, have strong arguments against any extremists who are trying to radicalise them online or elsewhere. So this is just a pilot, what happens next? So Barry Coppinger says that it's going out in the 10 schools uh, at the moment. They're going to sit down, have a look at the success of it, and then his hope is that it will be a success and that they can roll it out to all of the schools uh, throughout Cleveland and then after that, who knows where else. Right, thanks very much, Chris.